Star Trek was, Grant was on the West Coast. Mort and I were on the East Coast. And Grant developed the pilot of that. I negotiated the deal for the first pilot. There were two pilots. It didn't go on right away, and I forget the name of the star, but he's, he's passed away. I think he died at an early age. The show did not get on the air. Then we did another pilot, and it did get on the air. And I think it was on the air for two or three years. Grant was on the West Coast. Mort was in New York. When did it go on? I'm trying to remember. 66. What? 66, 1966. 66, yeah. And as I told you, in those days, raw audience was much more important than it is today. A show could get canceled with a 28 or 29 share, 27 share, forget it. Because there were three networks, we had 92, 93% uh, of the audience. NBC and CBS were usually, CBS usually won. We would lip up to number two, but we made a lot of money. It was okay number two, although we always aspired to make it. But CBS was stronger. Uh, and it was canceled. Now, I, can't, I don't remember all the reasons, but I do think it was just raw audience. And when I would come into New York for the scheduling sessions, <clears throat> and I had a lot to do with Star Trek and Burbank in that the show was being produced while I was out there, and I got to know Gene Roddenberry very, very well. Uh, and uh, it was produced uh, Paramount Desilu, as I recall. And uh, Herb Solo was there, and he, he had been at NBC with California National Productions. And uh, if, we, if the program department made any contribution, Paramount was always trying to cut the cost of the show because it was getting too expensive. And Jerry Stanley, who was head of the uh, ongoing programming area, and Stanley Robertson, who I think was, I mentioned this only because of something that we did out there. He was a, he was a black vice president, first one, very able, very good on continuing program. They would come to my office and say, you gotta call Solo. Get him off the spaceship. Let him spend a little money. So some of those shows where they did leave the spaceship, they left it, you know, all the time, but they wanted, they always wanted Paramount to spend more dough on the show. And uh, I think we contributed to making it a little better. And uh, there is a story about that, though, that Herb Solo tells inaccurately. Well, in any event, it was canceled, I think, because it didn't get enough raw audience. Mistake. <clears throat> but when we made the deal and put it on the air, I think it was still in New York. It was. And the brochure for the show had, uh, you know, the stars. And, you know, Dr. Spock had these funny years. But the head of advertising and promotion thought that they didn't look right. So he airbrushed them out so that Spock had normal ears. It's kind of nutty. So I got a call from Solo and the Paramount people. What are you doing to us? You know, they called me and I straightened it out and got the ears put back the way they should be. But that was a very important show that was canceled. 